All right, I'm going to give you a quick tour of my DIY power wall. So this is mounted in my garage. I use this to run air conditioning and a few other things in my garage. I do have power in my garage, but uh, I installed this here, A, so I'd have power uh, in a uh, during hurricane season, but also just because I run the air conditioning a lot in the garage when I'm working on my uh, cars. And um, it's nice to uh, run the air conditioning off a uh, you know solar system. So what do we have here? Well, this is a 24 volt system. That is seven uh, packs there. Each pack is 80 cells, all LG cells. And um, they are LG 2.2 uh, amp hour cells that were recovered from uh, modem um, packs. They are brand new, um, but they were re recovered from um, some like Comcast modem battery backup type packs um, that were unused. Um, it's almost 600 cells there. It's about 5 kilowatts. And um, uh, you can see that I have, um, anyways, the 7 packs are seriesed up for the uh, 24 volts, 29 volts max. That runs into a 100 amp um, breaker um, and then over to the uh, 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. I also have my um, uh, Make Sky Blue charge controller um, coming back in uh, to charge the batteries. I only have a couple hundred watts of solar outside and I'll take a picture of that um, uh, and insert that at the end. And um, I use the solar only to trickle charge the batteries back up. You know, if I work over the weekend and run down the batteries, running my AC and some other stuff in the garage, I can let the solar panels charge them up during the week and um, it'll be fully charged back up by the uh, next weekend, even though I only have a couple hundred kilowatts, out, uh, a couple hundred watts of solar outside. Um, uh, you know, given the size of this pack, it's, I'm actually okay with that. Now, because this is a 24 volt pack, you have to run your, um, your solar panels have to be higher voltage than your pack. So I, I have to run my two solar panels outside actually in series so that I'm bringing in almost 40 volts of solar, which then goes through the charge controller and comes down out at 30 volts to charge the pack. Um, All right, I'm going to give you a little more detailed view of the packs and everything. These packs, you can see every battery is individually uh, fused to the bus bars. Um, those are just uh, resistor legs and they're good for 4 or 5 amps and um, anything more than that and they just burn out and disconnect uh, a bad cell from the main pack. So um, this is a pretty tried and true design for building these packs and um, I think it goes pretty quickly with the resistor legs and then that's how I've built most of my packs. Um, the bus bars come out at the end, they're labeled positive and negative and then you can see I've just series them up um, and, of, and of course I have my balance leads coming off each mm -hmm. pack. Um, I have all the balance leads going into one of these terminal blocks. These are amazing. Now, uh, I forget what the uh, brand name of these terminal blocks are, but um, you flip the lever and you insert a wire and you close the lever and it locks. Now, the brand name only makes two or three um, connections. This is an eight connection, which is perfect because you'll have eight balance leads for a 7S pack. So I have my eight balance leads coming in and then I can run one set over to my um, BMS, I can run a second set over to something like the um, ISDT BATGO, which I have over here, and that's checking all the cells right now, and I can also use this to do any balancing if I need to occasionally, although the um, BMS does have full balancing in it, I can just double check with this. I can also then, um, you, I also run this over here just to create a common um, positive and common negative. Um, that can be used to power other devices and I have a, like a watt meter over here which I can just connect um, whenever I want to 
just to see how much uh, wattage is being pulled out of the battery. Um, but I leave that disconnected when I'm not using it. Anyways, you can see I have everything seriesed up. And then I have my main positive coming off here into a 100 amp breaker. And then I have the main negative going through the BMS and then out to the shunt. This shunt is actually read by that watt meter. But then the, the shunt runs right over to the um, uh, sine wave inverter. And then I, from my 100 amp breaker, I have the, the positive coming over here. Then you can see I have this turned off right now, but I can flip that on when I need to. And there you go. Uh, we got the packs at 29 volts, and we got 120 volts coming out of the pure sine wave inverter. This is a 1500 continuous 3000 watt peak um, inverter, perfect for um, firing up my air conditioning. Um, no problems. Um, this lead actually runs. This lead actually here runs down to a um, a plug I have on the other side there, and and it's it's, it's a um, power strip, so I can plug in multiple devices down over there at a more convenient height than up here in the ceiling. Anyways, um, this breaker here is actually for the incoming solar. He has my 200 watts coming in, and that this is a. 40 amp breaker which is obviously overkill because I only have like 5 amps coming in but you know I can just break the solar whenever I need to um, or if I want solar to charge the pack I can just flip the breaker and solar starts to charge the pack um, that comes into my uh, Make Sky Blue over here you can see it's uh, uh, the pack is actually full so it's only putting in 70 watts right now even though it could actually put in 200 watts the pack is full um, so it goes into my make sky blue uh, charge controller this is lithium compatible and is programmed with a 29.2 uh, volt uh, float charge for this pack and uh, that comes back out um, back through the breaker and back into the pack now why did I run it back through the breaker? Just because that way when I break this main breaker, which I do during the week, everything is killed. Um, this basically kills everything when I, when I shut down the, um, when, I, when I break this, everything goes off. The inverter will, will die in a second and start to complain. Um, and then the, um, see everything just died when I break those things everything's dead and then when I break when I fire it back up that's my main battery pack back online and that's solar back online and then everything will come back up um, like I said I do have a BMS it intercepts the negative lead and that'll um, stop any overcharge or undercharge. But the Make Sky Blue knows what it's doing, and and this is more of a backup. And then I, like I said, I also have this, which a lot of times this is just disconnected. I just pull out the lead and ha leave it hanging. But I plug this in every now and then just to check on the cells, and I can actually balance on here if I want to um, do a cell balance. It's got that functionality in it. Um, but yes. Uh, this is the overview of my little uh, DIY uh, power wall.